Chong. Welcome to another episode of Garage King PH. And for today, we have a very special bike on the channel. This is a Yamaha XSR900. Isa sa mga pinaka-hottest Neo Retro sa market natin dito sa Pinas. So, you can buy this locally, hindi yan imported. Yamaha and other big bike stores are selling this. It's a classic industrial look, packing a very, very modern 900cc, three-cylinder, a very punchy engine, six-speed transmission. Well, let me just tell you about my Skyway experience, right? Nagbaon ako ng Supremo action camera, actually. I tried using it, sinubukan kong isama sa aking camera rotation, but to my surprise, nag-overheat yung camera, uminit, hindi siya nag-record. So, I wasn't able to record my 0 to 100, but what can I say? It's a naked bike. So, salong-salo ko yung hangin. Wala akong mataguan on high speed. But then again, the riding position is very, very comfortable. Upright ang upper body mo uh, with a wide handlebar which we will talk more about that later, okay? Your feet is in an acute angle. Medyo parang rear set towards the rear ang posisyon ng mga paamo which is excellent for control. Kaya ang gaan-gaan ng feeling i-control nitong bike na to, especially on high speed. Paired with light clutch and smooth torque curve, talaga naman, torque monster ang 900cc engine nito. It's got a very punchy power delivery. It can even wheelie on third gear. Just crack the throttle open and it should deliver the goods in a very, very energetic fashion. Although, the traffic, medyo G3 siya. Parang gusto, gusto makawala lagi ng engine pag sa traffic. Now, let's talk about that throttle. Kasi sa traffic, medyo on and off yung response niya. The engine tends to be jittery. Pagka slow speed, alimbawa yung traffic na usod-usod lang. So, that's just one of the few issues na nakita ko. Tapos, tingin ko naman may remedyo dyan if you can buy one of those power controllers that you can hook up on the engine ECU it can deliver a smoother fueling so magagamot mo yung mga ganong issue may tropa ako I think nagkabit na nun sa Tracer 900 which basically uses the same engine as this and regarding the engine heat okay siya pagka umaandar ka as most performance bike right pero ito when you're in traffic the air direction pagka nagbukas yung aux fan is not as refined as other bikes kasi pagka bumukas yung aux fan ramdam na ramdam ko on both legs parang niluluto. Parang may nakabukas na kalan lagi sa lower part ng mga legs mo. So, yun lang. I hope on the newer models ng Yamaha XSR, magamot yan. Shroud, I think, would help a lot sa uh, management ng engine heat, right? One more limiting factor sa traffic, although ang gaan-gaan ito, ah, um, there's no question about that. Ang, ang ikili ng wheelbase, sobrang flickable, malapad ang handlebar, but that malapad na handlebar comes with a price. Hindi ko masyado makasingit. Para sa mga Ducati Scrambler, yung mga R90 ng BMW, medyo malalapad yung handlebar. Now, let's talk about that wide handlebar that we spoke about earlier. Okay siya, for me. It's giving me a lot of leverage. Kung imamaneuver yung bike, like sa garahe mo, slow speed handling, okay siya sa mga twisties. May leverage, mag steer yung bike. Paired with a short wheelbase, excellent yan. But then again, ang cons niyan is sa traffic. Hindi ka masyado makasingit dahil alanganin, baka sumayad yung bike sa side mirrors ng mga sasakyan. Of course, you don't wanna be doing that kasi iwas tayo sa sakit ng ulo. Iwas tayo sa mga bayarin, right? Pag naka-damage. Now, that tail tidy and knobby tires, which later on, we will talk more about the modifications ng bike na to. Eh, pogi yan, of course. Which is in keeping kasi medyo scrambler -y. Pwede. Kita nyo naman nakakaru na gulong. Medyo yun yung dating nito. Pero pupunuin ka ng talsik sa likod. Kita nyo naman yung nabi tires. It's the Medzeller's Karoo. Nabi yan. So, medyo aggressive yung block ng treads. And sa short span na niride ko to, natalsikan yung likod ko ng grabe. I mean, nadaan lang ako sa mga wet patches sa daan. And yeah, can I do? Pogi naman. <laughs> the fueling is okay for a performance bike. Sa fuel, naka-full tank ako nung umalis. Balik ako dito, full tank pa rin. Just don't expect it na magiging kasing tipid ng mga underbones and scooters because those are in a very different league. Ito, in very high performance it can give you. But then again, the fuel consumption is not too bad because I've seen some other bikes, hindi naman ganito kataas ang performance pero mas matakaw pa sa fuel. If you're into that, I think you'd be better off sa mga smaller displacement bikes. Ang dami naman dyan. Everything here on the controls is very sensible although yung turn signal tsaka yung busina medyo weird lang. Minsan, gamit-gamit ko to nung nandun ako sa Osmeña. Gusto ko lang naman mag-cancel ng indicator pero napipindot ko yung busina. So, I don't know what's up with that. Obviously, modified. Now, here are the meaty part of the conversation tungkol dito sa motor na to. Yung modification. It's got EvoTech headlight cover, Ridea windshield, SWTech crash guard, SWTech engine guard, aid covers, tail tidy, yung carbon yan, yung nasa ilalim ng seat, EvoTech radiator guard, EvoTech bar ends, modified seat, gawa yan ng all about covers, motor wrap by Lobo Cell, two brothers, full exhaust pipes. Yan yung matunog na matunog pagka nire-revolution. Ang ganda ng tunog, mga chong. On the stock side, the brakes, 
front and rear. Excellent. Malakas. I think it makes sense because a powerful engine should have very powerful brakes then. Because what speed if you cannot stop, right? Now the braking. The front is powerful. Can even be operated with just one hand dual disc brake. Yan. Pistons are quite powerful and madali siyang modulate. Tulad nga na mention ko, one finger operation is okay. Yung rear, well, nakagamit na ako ng ibang bike na yung rear brakes nila ay almost useless. But on this one, it's a powerful unit. Paired with the ABS, I think they're working just excellent. Uh, Neo Retro. Kung nag-iisip kayo kung ano ano mga alternate kung nasa market kayo ng Neo Retro bikes, I think you should look into Kawasaki Z900RS, Honda CB650R, and the bigger one. Isa pa sa mga choice mo sa mga Neo Retro na I think medyo sasabay sa performance nito is the CB1000R. Yan yung mas malaki sa CB650R na 4-cylinder din. Tulad ng CB650R, but this one is a lot powerful. I think medyo similar sila ng power delivery nitong Yamaha XSR. Yun mga kalaban nito sa market and it's quite a competitive market kasi pati sa European, there's the Ducati Scrambler, Triumph, BMW R90 family, and dyan. Just a quick recap. Sa mga cons ng bike, medyo jittery siya sa traffic. Mainit yung engine niya pag na-traffic ka. The aux fan just blows a lot of hot air out of the bike and onto your legs. The wide handlebars could be issue for lane splitting. At nakalimutan ko i-mention earlier, the illumination ng instrument cluster I think is too bright. At least for my taste. Medyo nakakasilaw siya, especially sa gabi. Wala itong center stand. Nakalimutan ko rin i-mention yan. But yeah, it doesn't have any center stand and I think it would be an issue sa maintenance ng bike. Now, sa pros, yan ang pag-usapan natin kasi this can keep up very well with sport bikes. Depende na lang yan sa lakas ng loob ng rider. But yes, the machine can. Yung performance, it's top-notch. I can say, for a 900cc engine, it's very, very energetic. It's very, very powerful. And the delivery is just smooth, man. And of course, the looks, which babagayan ng jacket na suot ko ngayon. Isingit lang natin itong jacket na to dahil the owner of this bike, Mr. Arion Taro, is selling these jackets. Now let's talk about that part na approved na approved sa Yamaha XSR which is its looks. So yung bike absolutely pag tinignan mo siya sa malayo looker agad eh. Plus the sound, mga parts na available sa kanya pwede mong bihisan para lalong maging looker, para lalong maging pogi yung bike. Now, you as a rider pwede, pwede mo rin siya formahan eh. You can dress up very well. Pwede kang nakaganito yung suot mo lang yung mga dry fit katulad ng dry fit natin sa dry fit master public which is excellent for like city driving around the village. Malamig to. But then again, riding jack such as this comes into play. Ito, product to ng owner ng Yamaha XSR na yun. So, it's called casual riding jacket. It's got pads. Actually, itong suot-suot ko na to, itong dry fit na to, perfect to. Because putting your hand in, it's very smooth. And the fabric itself ng jacket, it's very, very light to the feel. Hindi naman ganun kainit. Unlike most sports bike jacket, and unlike most sports bike jackets, hindi siya kasing stiff. So, Magaan siya, malambot. Bagay na bagay sa looks sa pang Yamaha XSR900 which is yung mga Neo Retro. On the topic of protection, it's got removable pads. Now, hindi basta-bastang pads ang ginamit dito ni Arion as he's developing this product. It's got pads on your shoulders, on your elbows, and most importantly, dito sa spine area. Up front, wala siyang padding kasi if you're going down sa crash, di ba? Unang protection mo yung yung harapan mo. So, yun. Uh, and on the head, syempre may helmet ka. Now, these pads, as I was mentioning, removable yan. So, kung palalaban mo, pwede, pwede mo siyang hugutin. Kita nyo? It's perforated even. Yan yung dahilan kaya malamig tong jacket na to pag umaandar because air is flowing through. So, yan yung spine protection. Let's show the shoulder protection. Ito. Ito yung may tama sa akin, yung shoulder. So, goes right there. Ayan. Ito yung CE Level 1 Protection Shoulder. It actually fits well. XL yung size ko mga chong eh. So I think it corresponds to your size yung pagkaka-tailor fit nito. And on the elbows, it makes sense din. Kasi di ba paglalaban mo tong jacket na to, ayaw mo namang laban siya na sobrang bulky sa washing machine niya. So that goes on your elbows right there. Pag inunat mo yung kamay mo, it basically conforms onto the position ng kamay mo. Walang kaproble-problema. So... This keeps you safe. In the event of a crash, you might have some bruises, pero definitely, kaya nitong i-minimize yung damage siya. Wala kang sugat, wala kang mga tosino, ganyan. Bali ng buto. I don't know how fast you're gonna be crashing, but yeah, I hope that doesn't happen, right? Mabuti ng safe, ika nga. So, putting it back, bear with me on this. I guess we will insert this. Let me just tell you that I'm not the most patient person in the world kung 
fabric ng pag-uusapan. That's why I'm into cars, right? So, yan. Pull out nyo lang yung buong shoulder. Just in the reverse order na kinuha nyo tong pads na to. So, and it's got this stretchable fabric right here. Uh, masarap sa siko yan. Nasuot ko na to na naka-t-shirt lang ako. Naka-dry fit t-shirt lang. Uh, what more pagka nakaganito kang dry fit na long sleeve, right? By the way, if you're interested in getting these riding long sleeve shirts, uh, the link is on the description down below. 799 lang yung mga chocolate. It is also available in, in gray. <laughs> so yan, naibalik na natin yung ating uh, elbow protector. Ayan, yung slit. Uh, it's stretchable. Ngayon, ito yung shoulder pack. Now it's back. This also tells you na yung pads e eh, durable. While I'm putting these back, let me just tell you that the available colors for these jackets are black, of course. Uh, there's red, there's blue, there's gray, and there's this olive, may beige din. So, yung mga kulay na yan, hindi naman iisa lang. Pwede, pwede mo siyang i-customize. Imagine, back in the 60s, 70s, yung mga tipong James Dean, yung mga ganyan. Parang ganito mga suotan nila eh. And if you're just like me, may damage ako sa shoulder eh. Hindi siya halata pag uh, suot-suot mo to. If you look at my shoulder, my left part right here, medyo mas malit siya kumpara dito because nabalian na ako ng collarbone. But if I wear this, it's as if my shoulders are both built. Ngayon, kung build naman ang katawan nyo, build ng upper body nyo, you can order whichever size would fit you. It's ranging from small up to uh, customized size, yung mga double XL, triple XL, and so on. Itong jacket na to, I for sale. I will put a link on the description down below on where you can get them. Talking about the fit and finish ng jacket, it's excellent. Okay siya pang tambay, lalo pagka naka dry fit ka or t-shirt sa ilalim. I think you would not be sweating a lot. Although in traffic, syempre, jacket yan. What can you expect? Papawisan ka talaga. But once you start rolling, kahit mabagal lang, 20-30, it starts to cool down. Ang daming papasukan ng hangin dito, hindi ka naman saradong sarado. And yeah, even if you're out of your bike, even if you've gone down, tignan nyo naman. Yeah? Primong primo, di ba? If you're attending the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, I think magsuot ka lang ng something formal sa loob. Tapos ito, approve na approve. I think medyo nakaka-dress up ang dating na itong jacket na ito. Now, this retails for 5,000 pesos. And how does that compare to its competition? Well, I think it's very well priced. Kasi you have a lot of color choices, by the way. Pwede kang magpa-customize ng color combination just like what we're showing right here. This is the actor, Mr. Lester Lien Sang. Nakasama ko siya nung kinuha ko tong jacket na to from the owner and nung kinuha ko yung bike, nag-photoshoot kami. Ah, uh, yung kanya, kay Mr. Lester, it's black fabric overall pero yung mga stitching pula. Custom fit 'yon para sa kanya. The fit color selection is custom. So you can do that too if you order one of these. Again, kung trip niyo um order, I'll put link on the description down below kasi kung naka custom build ka na cafe racer or brat Tracker, scrambler, proof. Bagay na bagay ito. Sa bike lang ni Arion, as you can see on these shots, bagay na bagay. It's as if akin yung motor. Parang binili ko tong jacket na to kasi akin yung motor na yun. But yeah, sa mga kalaban ng Yamaha XSR na yan, mga Honda CB650R, Honda CB1000R, mga R90, whatever. Basta classic bike, pasok na pasok tong look na to. And yeah, isa yun sa mga cons kung kukuha ka ng Yamaha XSR, yung kanyang formability, kumbaga. Is that even a word? Pero yeah, ang sarap niya formahan. If you're just hanging around on cafes, just like in the 60s, yung mga cafe racer. Approve na approve niya mga chong. Uh, if you're interested in ordering that jacket, yung customizable riding jacket na yan, the link is on the description down below, right? So, I suggest you visit that. Lalo ngayon, usong usong mga neo retro mga cafe racer bagay na bagay yan mga chong so yeah I hope you like this episode of Garage King PH uh, matik na yan as usual you ride safe and you drive safe ciao